Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue coding on tensors. This is a list of topics that we'll be covering. Uh, I'm guessing in maybe three or four parts if the video gets too long. Uh, basically, we'll look at how the indexing works and how we can manipulate the shapes, convert data types from float to, let's say, float 64 to float 32, etc broadcasting and then uh, look at other topics such as how to convert numpy array to a tensor creating rag tensor string tensor and how we can convert a string to a number so let's get started so here i've opened a new notebook and the libraries that we need to import are numpy and tensorflow we import numpy as np and then we need to import tensorflow as tf and just for sake of information let's also import sys so that we can check what versions we are using so the ef dot underscore underscore version and this gives us the version for the tensorflow and this is 2.8.0 and then for python uh, oh, Python version so here we can see that the python version is 3.7.12 in this particular notebook so now let's start with indexing and the indexing is similar to what uh, we have seen previously in numpy and the basic rules are uh, as follows so let's let me write those down here and these are directly from the docs so index uh, all the index is start at zero and then negative index so if you have a negative index uh, it's uh, it, so they count backwards from the end of the uh, tensor the index or indices count backward from the end and then finally the colons that is these signs are used for slice uh, slice start stop etc so slice start stop and step all of these so first let's create a rank one tensor rank one tensor and this as we have seen in the previous video all we need to do is write tf dot constant and just specify the numbers here so let's say we have 11 22 55 33 77 8 44 23 and 100 so let's say we have these we have a rank one tensor and it looks like this so that's the tensor we have the the data type is integer 32 and the shape is 9 now if we need to access the item at in in it so if we need to access 11 so the indices start at zero. So this would be zero, one, two, three, and so on. So this is at index zero. And now if we write rank underscore one underscore tensor, and if we get the zeroth index, and we should get the value 11 uh, that we see here. Now to make it easier to read, I'm going to add dot numpy at the end of this. So that when we run this, all we get is just the number we are interested to look at. So here, uh, rank one tensor, rank underscore one underscore tensor, square bracket zero gives us this number eleven. Similarly, if we uh, if we change the index and let's say if we type index one, then we should get twenty two. So that's what we get here. Similarly, if we keep going. If we look at minus one now as we saw in the rules above 
minus one starts counting from the backwards from the end and counts backwards so minus one is 100 and if we were to get the same 22 again from counting backwards this would be minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five six seven and eight so let's try minus eight and that should give us 22 and that's what we have here now similar to numpy we could also perform indexing using the colons and for that if we were to put simple colon there without anything either to the left or right of it then we would get the entire all the values in the tensor so let's run this so as you can see we get all the values from 0 11 through 100 so all the indices all the values that all the indices are returned and here now we will specify parts of this so let's say if we uh, if we want in the if we want all indices starting with 11 right up to 77 then what we need to specify is the ending point so if we specify starting point can be 0 so starting point is 0 in this case and then 0 1 2 3 4 5 and if we specify 5 then we get 11 22 all the way up to 77 now this exact splicing can be written in another form where we do not have to specify the zero we just specify colon 5 we get the same output as as you can see right here so uh, that's uh, that tells tensorflow that we need to uh, get all the values starting with the very first one which would be at index 0 next if we need a part of this let's say this 55 through 44 then we need to specify the starting point so which is at index 0 1 and 2 so the index is starting index is 2 for 55 and the last index is is 3 4 5 6 so this would be 6 plus 1 so you need to space we need to specify one additional index so that would be 7 so when we would plug that in we get this particular uh, part of the tensor the output now if we need to pull every other item from this list so if we need to get 11 55 77 44 and 100 then the way to do that would be to put two colons and then put a two in front of it and now we get every other element 11 55 77 44 and 100 now if you're wondering what happens if we change the two to three so if we again go back here put two colons change this particular uh, value from 2 to 3 then we get every third one so this is 1 then we skip 2 and then we get 33 skip 2 and then we get 44 then we skip 2 and there's nothing after that so we just have 3 returned next uh, we can also uh, reverse get a reversed tensor back so if we type let's paste this here and uh, to get a reverse tensor all we need to do is I have double colons and then put a minus one in there so when we run this we get a reverse tensor back and note that it is not yet sorted it's just reversed so instead of ending at 100 this is now starting at 100 and this is ending at 11 whereas the original tensor ended at started at 11 so this is just a reversed version of the original tensor that we had now this was for a single axis which was just rank one tensor with one axis now what happens if we have uh, two axes if we look at the rank two tensor 
So the method is the same. Uh, let's look at an example now. Multi axis indexing and we are going to look at rank two tensor so rank underscore two underscore tensor is equal to tf dot constant and here let's specify uh, values one comma two comma three and then we have another set of values which is four comma five comma six and then we have another set of values which is seven comma eight comma nine and then we can specify rank underscore two underscore tensor and now uh, we do some indexing operations with this so as you can see the shape is three by three data type is integer 32 and this is our tensor the first one we'll try to get find is let's see how we can access the number five from this tensor and to do that we would type rank underscore two underscore tensor that's the name of the tensor and so the value everything starts at index zero so this is row at index zero row at index one so we need to specify the one here and then the next one is we put a comma we are done with the row part now for the columns we have this is column at index 0 column at index 1 so we put a 1 there and the the way this syntax work if you are if you have not already seen is uh, let's say we have a variable x or a matrix x then this is a row start colon row end plus one that's up to what values you need and then if we have column start to column end plus one and sorry here we do not need the plus one because we are directly calling it based on the this index so when we run this here we get a value of 5 which is uh, the value right there now if we need to get 1 2 0 oh, 5 then we would type again the same tensor now this a 1 is at index 0 so we need row 0 and we need row 1 so we'll specify row 0 and row 1 plus 1 so we need to put a 2 there i think that that plus 1 was right there and then we need to put on this side we start with column 0 and then we go up to column 1 and then we do not need a 2 but we need to add that plus 1 and so when we run this we get the the values that are right there so one, two, four, five, and that's what we have here in the output. And this exact same slicing can be done without putting the zero. As we saw earlier, if I if we remove that zero, we get the same output. We would get one, two, four, five, and that's what we have. One, two, four, five. Moving on now, let's look at uh, how we can use a negative index. So let's copy this. And now within the square brackets, we are going to specify minus one, comma, colon. So what this is going to do is column for the column side suggests that uh, all columns are needed. So all columns return values from all columns. So that's good. And when we specify minus one, it tells us that return values from the last row only so together this tells us that return values for all columns only from the last row so we should get 789 in the output and that's what we have right here now to make it easier to read we could add 
numpy in front of it and so we just see what the output array or matrix is right here and similarly if we were to use negative index and pick six from from that tensor the way we would do that is use tensor and then what we are asking is uh, the value six from this particular tensor so for column we can use for the rows row index that would be this is minus one that would be minus two and then for column index that would be minus one because that's the last column we are looking at and so we should get six as the output so dot numpy and we have six so those are the ways in which we can uh, perform slicing if we need to get this five six eight nine let's try that once rank underscore two underscore tensor and so five is at row index one so we put a one there and we need to go up to two index plus one so we can we need to put a three there and similarly for the column index again we start at row index one we go up to three so two plus one so that's three and we get the output which is five six eight nine alternative way to write this is by not specifying anything after the colon because we need to go all the way to the end of that particular tensor and so we should get the same output five six eight nine as we had before now let's look at how we can slice a rank three tensors so let's create a heading here rank three tensor and for this we'll create a rank three tensor now rank three tensor is equal to tf dot constant and here we'll put uh, one two three square brackets then one comma two one comma two comma three first row then have four comma five comma six as the second row put a comma there bring this down and uh, maybe we need a comma there okay so that's uh that's one matrix what we can do now is copy that and paste it once paste it twice and that's the rank three tensor and make this more interesting we'll change the values so maybe add one there now if we run rank underscore three underscore tensor we get this tensor which has shape three by two by three so we have three stacks and then each of those stacks have a two by three matrix two rows and three columns now for slicing let's uh, create cell here okay so for slicing we use again the rank three tensor and let's say we so here we have this tensor let's say we need all the we need to consider all the three met, uh, tensors or three arrays within this tensor all the three blocks one two three all of these so we what we can do is we can put a colon there but what i'm thinking is to make this more uh different uh, what i'm saying is this a three and this three is uh can we can make it more clear so why don't we add a value here so we know which three we are talking about we do the slicing so that should do it this should be now three by two by four great now with this matrix if we need to pull 1 4 10 4 and 11 4 from all the three matrices what 
we need to do is is put a colon for the first index because we are considering all the three blocks and next we are considering only the first column we are considering both the rows so all rows are considered so you put another colon there and we are considering only the first column which is at index zero so we put a zero there when we run this we get output which is one four which is this one four 10 4 which is this 10 4 we have 11 4 which is this 11 4 so uh, that's one way to uh, slice uh, the rank 3 tensor and then you can uh, try other combinations from this for example uh, if you were to pull only these records so 2 3 2 2 3 5 6 then these 2 20 30 5 6 21 31 5 6 then that would work the same way let's try that example again rank 3 tensor so this time again we need and let's for uh sake of example let's say we just need the first two blocks we do not need this 21 31 from the second block for that what we can do is just say from here to three uh, sorry two which means that this is block zero block one plus one that is two here so we stop at two up to two so we just consider these two blocks and then uh, the next is rows so we need data from both the rows so we put a colon there and then we need data from just these two columns so we start at column index one so this is column zero column one column at index two and then column at index three so we start at one and go up to three plus one so four and so when we run this we sorry this is zero one two three so this should be three not four okay so now we get just this part of the tensor in the output 